Viola Davis is now saying exactly why she regrets playing the role of Abilene Clark in The Help. In her cover story interview with Vanity Fair, the Emmy, Oscar, and Tony winner said that although she loves everyone the movie gave her the chance to work with, she felt like she was betraying herself and her people by playing Abilene because the movie catered to a white audience, wasn't ready to tell the whole truth, and the voices of the maids weren't heard. Get ready for this one. Emmy, Oscar, and Tony winner John Legend has a history of cheating. The devoted husband and father told armchair expert host Dax Shepard that when he started to become famous, he would get around technically cheating by keeping his relationships loosely defined, but that he knew it was really cheating. That all stopped for him, though, when he met supermodel Chrissy Teigen. Legend said, at a certain point, you just realize you're happier being honest, happier being faithful, and in love with one person. I'm sure that person being Chrissy Teigen helps. Do you think that you are an attractive person now because you're single and ready to mingle? Hold up a minute on that one, Chris Cuomo. While your New York governor brother Andrew is getting a lot of attention right now, it looks like he's not quite ready to dive back into dating from what he told Jimmy Fallon. Zero. I'm at phase zero on dating. <laughs> I think New York City will be fully reopened before I get out of phase <laughs> zero on dating. <laughs> he did just break up with his longtime love, Sandra Lee, last year. So let's give him a little bit of time, people. Governor Andrew Cuomo and his brother Chris were named the most desirable men in New York, according to a matchmaker's survey, Jay and Betsy. Now, Chris is married, of course, but his wife Christina says that when the governor is ready, she has a whole wait list of women for him to ask out. I think he's got a couple other things on his plate first. <laughs> So I, I think New York would probably like for him to focus on that. Yeah, I was going to say, it's not a good political look to be talking about dating life in the midst of a pandemic. Well, <laughs> he is pretty busy, that's true. And also, he said that his phase zero of this self-imposed dating quarantine has no duration, and it could go on for months. Hmm. All right, I guess the ladies of New York would just have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, mm -hmm. Stephanie.